In this movie, we cover CSV batch metadata editing, language codes on metadata fields, and resolving duplication of metadata. In this particular publication, we see that as the cause of a previous batch edit, some of the metadata fields have been duplicated. In the simple item view, it's not really clear what has happened, but we see more when we go to the full item record. In the full item record, we can see that the duplication consists in the fact that some of these metadata fields have a language code associated with them and other fields don't. So we'll try to um, rectify this with a CSV batch metadata edit. So what we do or what I've already prepared is we do a CSV export of this item and then I've already imported it or loaded it into the CSV power tools um, but you can also load it into a normal CSV editor because I'm not uh, really going to, uh, to use the, the specific features here. But um, for reporting purposes, if you already have the situation where you have um, some fields appearing with or without language codes for reporting purposes, you can use the feature that says consolidate multilingual columns and the result is that you only have uh, a field left without the language without the language ID. However, if you use that same version to re-upload, it's possible that you will be creating a duplicate. For example, let's say that this one doesn't originally does not have a value here for um, DC date issued without uh, without a language. So let's say that the value was not uh, not there and that we actually only had a value of 2018 stored in a field with a language code. If we then execute the consolidate multilingual columns, the result is that we only will have, where we do we have my date here, DC date issued without the language code. If we will use this spreadsheet to re-upload the publication, what will happen is that the importer will recognize this one as a new field because it does not yet have a date issued stored with a language code uh, under that. So that's, that's the explanation of how the errors were originally introduced. Let's undo what I just did. So 2018 is here again. And let's uh, focus on how to resolve these kinds of problems. So the thing that we have here is we have these duplicated metadata uh, values and we want to get rid of them. So to get rid of a value or to do any CSV edit, it's always recommended to leave only the columns in place that you want to edit. So the author column is fine. I don't want to edit that. So I delete it from my spreadsheet. Then let's say DC date issued. It's a, a field where a language code doesn't make a lot of sense, so I want to remove it from the one that has the language tag associated with it. I don't delete the column, but what I do delete is the value here. So I do delete the value here. And then I go on. With the, the abstract, maybe for the abstract it does make sense to say that the abstract is indeed in English, so I will delete the version of the abstract without the language code. URI has no problem. Uh, v per ID is again a non-language sensitive field. So as a non-language sensitive field, it makes sense to remove it from the one that has the language code in it. Then we have language.iso. The language ex itself is just a code. So I also remove it here. The URL, I remove it here again. Number of pages, I remove it there. Subjects. Here also something interesting happened is that originally subjects have an authority code but as the result of using the, um, the removal of authority codes the authority code is actually removed here. So here it does make sense to actually uh, stick with the version that has the authority code. So we remove it there. Uh, let's see DC title um, it has the English language code, so here we can remove it in the version that doesn't have it. 
but overall you can make the decision for your repository whether you want to deal with language codes at all or not. Um, some repositories decide not to do this at all and just have no values in the, in the metadata fields with language codes and they avoid the problem altogether. Here, I can also remove it here, the knowledge domains. I will remove it, uh, remove it here. Status reason. White paper. Here's another duplicate. So here I have edited everything. Actually, only in the columns where I deleted values, I should uh, ideally only keep those columns there. Uh, but when it doesn't detect any changes, it will not cause any problems at all. So let's, let's see what the effect is if I export this one, download this as a CSV. It has now downloaded this one and I go back to re the repository to execute the edit. So I go into import metadata. I select the CSV that I just exported. I do upload and I always get that verification step where um, it has that verification of what's happening. So here it says, well, owning the only collection, it's already there, but it always uh, gives me the notification of the collection. And then it says where I will be removing these metadata values uh, from all these different codes. So I will proceed and apply the changes. That's been successful. I will go back to the item where I came from. Of course, my browser still has it cached, but now I refresh the page and the duplications have been removed. So now I can see, okay, I still have a few of them. I have a few of them with language codes, a few without language codes, but at least I have no more duplicates in there as they have been, uh, they have been resolved. I hope this was useful. If you have more questions about this, please uh, raise a ticket in the issue tracker. We're always happy to help. Thank you.